this is kind of our main background. And so it's really cool having these monitors is obviously we can have our Sports Nightly branding or Game Day Nation, but we can also put some games in there and different video. And so it allows us to have a little bit more flexibility. So we have, you know, kind of this angle here, the quad as we call it, and then we have another dual monitor. And then when I flip it around, the cameras are not set up right now, but we usually have five cameras spread out around the studio. So we also have an area where we can do shots at the green screen. So we have a bunch of different spots that we can set up a shot from, not including, you know, our main desk. And actually, let me show you our new desk. We're all really excited about it. We have a nice monitor in front. So it's that same thing where we could put video in front there as well. So this will kind of be what the sports nightly set looks like. And then we'll obviously change the graphics for Game Day Nation. And we also, if you see these blue side things that light up, that can change color. So we're getting pretty fancy here at Sports Nightly. We're all very excited. Can you take us into the control room and show us exactly how, you know, this is broadcast on the air? This is our switcher slash board. So that's kind of what you can punch up all the cameras with. And we have a director um, that sits in that chair and kind of calls the show and punches it up. We then have a producer usually sitting right here who is controlling our kind of our timing system and our graphics and stuff like that. And then this is kind of the control wall where you can see just all of the cameras. We can see different games coming in. As you can kind of see up in that top corner, we have a soccer game getting fed in right now takes a village because we usually have a bunch of different people back here making sure that everything's timed out like I said running graphics director and then we have an audio booth in here um, that obviously you know runs the music the microphones the game audio all of that fun stuff we also for game day nation um, we have a bunch of editors because obviously we have the games coming in live and so we're bouncing around live to those but for our 10 30 show um, sports or Game Day Nation Overtime, we have a bunch of highlights. So really every game we've shot, we have highlights of, and they don't just kind of cut themselves. So we have different people kind of working back behind the scenes that are editing those games, writing them. And so that's usually what I'm doing ahead of overtime is I'll be out shooting a couple of games. I'll come back, write those scripts, edit those, and then I'll help edit and write um, the rest of the overtime scripts with the editors, making sure that everything hits air once 1030 rolls around. We're back in the thick of it. We're excited to have you and the team back. We're obviously excited to have um, fall sports back in high school football as well. Yeah, we're happy to be back. Obviously, there was a time where everybody was uncertain what fall sports would look like, and it does look different with you know minimal spectators, and it's really up to each individual host school how they're going to divvy up who can go to what game. But that's what is so great about BCSN is we are kind of offering that alternative for if, if you aren't able to go to a game or you don't feel comfortable going to a game, you're not gonna miss you know, your neighbor, your grandson, your son, your daughter, your sister, your babysitter's games. You can watch them from the safety and comfort of your own home.